How do you use AI to have a conversation with your data if your data is in Power BI? Well, you have a lot of options, to be honest. You could use Power BI Q&A. You could use Copilot. You could use a Fabric data agent. But all of these things are in Power BI or in Fabric. What if you want to use something like Claude Desktop? Well, thanks to the new Model Context Protocol, not that new anymore, it is definitely possible. And I'm going to show you an example of how I am doing just that. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of how you can chat with your data using Copilot in Microsoft Fabric in your browser. And then I'm going to show you how you can replicate that experience and extend it even to do other things by using Claude Desktop, even if you're using a Mac. So let's jump right in. What we're looking at right now is we are looking at Copilot chat with your data. So this is available from Microsoft Fabric and it lets us be able to ask data questions to multiple artifacts or items in our tenant that we have access to. So for example, we could connect to, and we, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it to be more specific. Uh, I'm going to connect to a specific semantic model that I'm interested in and this is a fitness model that has data about my exercise, my workouts, but I'm also planning on adding data about my nutrition and all kinds of information. And I'm using this information to inform decisions about you know, my health and my workout routines, basically, to help me achieve my fitness goals. So I'm gonna ask it, evaluate my latest workout. Now this is a pretty broad and A-specific question, so I wouldn't expect Copilot to be able to answer it, and indeed, it doesn't. So Copilot says it cannot directly evaluate workouts or provide advanced analytics, but it can help with specific questions. So this is important to understand, is that Copilot is trying to be very explicit. It's trying to have a one-to-one -one of question and answer. You ask a question, it provides a data answer. So it's very explicit and concise in that regard. So it gives some, some suggestions like total volume, how many sets, and the duration. So let's click on one of these suggestions and see how many sets were performed. Copilot lets us see the answer, and we can see that indeed on the last workout, we can't see what date that was, but we can see it applied some filters. I did 19 sets. However, we just have this one number presented outside of a context. If I wanted more information, like show me what exercises and sets I did for the latest workout. Again, this is a very specific data question. Show me something. I can't ask Copilot to do an evaluation or a comparison unless that's something that they can explicitly show. So we can see here, we can see how many sets were done for each exercise. This actually doesn't look correct. I definitely didn't do 18 sets of lateral raise or I wouldn't be able to move my shoulders right now. So you can have data quality issues, which is entirely possible. So that can be quite a challenge. Uh, or it can generate the wrong query uh, or use the wrong information. I'm not even really sure how it's, how it's getting that result. <laughs> oh, it's summing the exercise order, that's why. So, um, so yeah. But if we ask it something like, can you evaluate whether the last workout, which was a deload, was sufficiently light for me to recover compared to my previous workouts? That's a very complicated question that doesn't have a yes or no answer. So indeed, Copilot is uh, asking me whether I should proceed with the analysis, I need to analyze the intensity, volume, uh, yes, proceed with the analysis. And Copilot's going to go and get that information. Now, you're going to get better results from Copilot the more effort and time that you invest in making sure A, you have a good semantic model, and B, that that semantic model is ready for use with AI. So, for example, the reason why it gives results like this is because there hasn't been a whole lot of preparation that I've done on this model because it's still a work in progress. I'm just demonstrating the functionality here. So here it's showing me uh, the sum of volume versus the average RPE. 
without any context. So I don't know how I'm supposed to interpret this uh, relative to the question I asked. But in summary, the experience that you can see with Copilot with chat with your data is this very literal experience. It's not so flexible because it would be a bit dangerous if something like this in this corporate and enterprise tool is over-interpreting and extrapolating information and is being perceived as overconfident or incorrect. Now with Claude, we can create a very similar experience, but we can just kind of go wild and we can use what are called MCP servers to do interesting things. And we can also give it a lot of different context to be able to allow it to give us those more subjective answers and to do these more complex queries. So first, let me explain to you what an MCP server is in just very, very, very simple terms. I'm not going to go into technical details. There's plenty of content about that. But basically, if you're using a tool like Claude Desktop, which is an MCP client, MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. So Claude Desktop lets you use the models from Anthropic. So if you're not familiar with Claude, if that doesn't mean anything to you, just check it out. Claude is one of the most popular and effective models currently for creating code and working on code with AI. And it lets you work with AI and do a number of things that are very interesting, like leveraging this uh, model context protocol. So Claude Desktop is an MCP client, which basically just means that it can use MCP servers. Now, what is an MCP server? You can just think of it like a tool or a resource or both that Claude can leverage. So these could be created by other people, but they could be created by you. Now, why is this relevant? Well, I created my own MCP server that in Python will query a semantic model using Python in DAX and get a result. And Claude can leverage that tool to be able to get those results and use them as context dynamically, depending on what I'm asking. And it can do this multiple times in response to my same prompt that I'm giving it. So as you'll see, this really enables a lot of very interesting and exciting things. What's also cool is that you could connect to not just other local MCP servers that you've created. So I have a number of MCP servers that I use to do different things, to get different information, but I could also use remote MCP servers that have been deployed by other people of course, there's a security concern there, so you need to be very careful. However, if you are being careful and diligent in what you're doing, this could be a very interesting and empowering experience, and I'm going to show you why. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on my Mac, and we're going to use Claude to have the same kind of conversation with the same model, but we're going to get very different results, and I'll show you right now. So we have our Mac open and I have the terminal. So I could authenticate and start the server, but I'm first going to explain to you what that server looks like. It is a Python script that is just about 500 lines long. I'm not going to go through the code because that would be tedious. But basically this is going to be your MCP server that also specifies the tool that it's going to use. You're going to run this on your local computer and Claude is going to use it. So if I open Claude right now, I can go into the settings and developer, and I see that I have an MCP server, Power BI Fabric, that is currently running. This is located on my local machine, and Claude can use it to do things. So we can see here that we have Power BI Fabric, we can execute DAX queries, get the model schema, list tables and measures, and we're just going to be using this first one. I'm actually going to turn off some of the other tools. So perfect. But we're going to close Claude and we need to start by authenticating because of course we need to communicate to Power BI and Fabric who we are. So we have permission to use this uh, particular semantic model. So I'm going to use the Azure command line interface and this is all a part of the server to authenticate. I'm going to specify the subscription that I'm using, and then I'm going to run the server. So that's all there is to it. I've now established a connection, and I can start using 
Claude. So what we're going to do is we're going to open Claude and I'm going to expand this out. We're going to go into projects and I have a workout analysis project. In this project, I have provided some specific instructions, just like how you can provide AI instructions and various other tools, including your semantic model about what it should do and how it should use the information. So I provide here mainly some domain knowledge for it. And then I also provide it the model schema. So this is a key difference between when you're using Claude and when you're using Copilot. Copilot doesn't need that. It can just get it on its own and that works fine. But Claude works better if you provide it that model schema up front and you would need to update that or connect it using you know, another tool, bake it into the tool, an easy way to get the schema. I'm just lazy, so I'm just giving it just the, the, the BIM for this simple demo. So you can see I've already done these analyses, but I'm going to do it again. I'm going to say evaluate my latest workout. And based on that information, Claude is going to now generate a DAX query that it's going to evaluate against the data. So you can see that it correctly gets the information that workout was from today. It was a deload workout, which means a lighter workout to recover, focused on back and biceps. It says the duration, which is not particularly helpful in seconds, but it tells me in minutes, even though that information is not in the semantic model. So we can already see that the key difference between Claude and Copilot here, this custom tool and Copilot, is Claude is providing us a lot more context and it's a lot more flexible. So we have autonomy here as developers to be able to steer Claude and decide for ourselves how it should work and be set up. So it's going to proceed iteratively. It's going to run into issues like having difficulties being able to get the data, but it's going to automatically try to fix those issues. So it's going to evaluate a different query, for example. And this experience is going to result in our workout. So we see now that it's going to provide some information and analysis indeed of our workout. So we can see that it, it not only got the latest workout, but also the most recent full intensity session from a week ago, which is appropriate. And I can directly see a comparison between those two things. And I can get useful insights about that, including some feedback and what I did well. And because I asked Copilot or Claude in this case to be critical and red team what I'm doing, that it's giving me some critique. So adding shoulders, apparently according to Claude was a bad idea, but it's up to me as the autonomous actor to decide whether that's true because there's no absolute right or wrong. It said wrist curls seem excessive. I could decide, yeah, he's probably right. I only did wrist curls because I want massive forearms. But the point about shoulders, I don't know. I, to be honest, think that working shoulders made a lot of sense in this workout. So I'm gonna keep that. But it even asked me some follow-up questions. Did the weights feel okay, too easy? Are you feeling recovered? So this is a real conversation that I'm having with my data. This makes me feel excited about the topic. I get some opinions and thoughts. I'm interested and I'm already thinking about what I can do to improve the process. So this is a dramatic departure from the experience that we're having, for example, in Copilot. So this is incredibly powerful. And I'm really excited to see what other people are capable of doing, especially because this is something you can set up yourself in a relatively short amount of time. You might be looking at this and saying, well, you spent a really long time setting this up. This whole process took me an hour. It took me 35 minutes to create the MCP server using Claude, and it took me 20 to 25 minutes to create all of the context and the domain knowledge based off of what I know and my preferences. Combining those two things together in Claude Desktop was straightforward. So that is what I wanted to show you. The implications here, I think, are significant. And I think it's important not to understate them. That said, I think it's critical, paramount, to be able to say that this is not a replacement for dashboards and other tools. For example, this is not a replacement for Power BI Desktop. This is not a replacement for Power BI reports. 
I would still want to look at a report or a dashboard to check up on my overall progress, general direction, but for this more subjective analysis, this conversational analysis, but there's not necessarily a right or a wrong, and it's more about me being able to explore and think about the data in an interesting way, to challenge my existing assumptions and preconceptions, and to get new ideas about the decisions and actions I should take, I think that's where this fits into the process. And I think this is really exciting. I'm super excited about where this can go and what this can do. And I've already seen in using this in you know the last few days, let's say, and a bit longer, depending on the specific context and data, that this is incredibly valuable for me to be able to get better outcomes to what I was doing before. So that's all I want to share. In summary, if you want to chat with your data using AI, you can do this with Q&A, you can do this with Copilot, with a number of experiences, you can do this with Fabric Data Agents, but it's important for you to think about what exactly are your expectations when it comes to chatting with your data? Are you interested in this more really conversational back and forth, challenging your thoughts and coming up with new ideas? Or do you expect this one-to-one -one where you just wanna see the turnover, the sales, the orders? In that case, probably Copilot's going to be the easiest and the best way forward for you. But if you're looking for something that is more flexible, more dynamic, and able to let you explore more of your data, then I think something like this using Claude Desktop with these MCP servers is incredibly powerful and definitely not something you should discount. So that's it. That's all I have to say. I don't know. Have fun. Whatever, I guess.